In this video, I'll be doing the maths question you see on the screen here from paper two of the 2024 Maths Leave Insert exam. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, check out the playlist in the comments below. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully like you're used to your teacher doing. But remember, you're not in a classroom here, we're on YouTube, so take advantage of that. Pause, rewind, watch a half speed or watch a 2x speed. If you do find these videos useful or any of my videos, I would greatly appreciate a like or subscribe, but especially I'd appreciate you sharing it with a friend doing the Leave Insert or doing it next year. In question 10, they describe a window wipers and they give us a diagram that looks uh, roughly like this. I, I hope I have all the important numbers on here. And um, all the writing is just confirming all the different things. Um, I'll talk about if, if we need it. Um, pretty much everything's right angles and it's right up the middle, pretty much. Um, part one, A part one, actually A part one and part two, really they ask us a question but they also give us the answer and that's just so we can do the later parts as well. So in part one they say show that OB, um, OB is this length here, is 120. So they just want, basically they're saying find OB but they're just a little worried you might not get it so uh, they, they'll tell you what it is. Um, right, the trick to this question is radius. Look for a circle and look for all the different radius in the circle. They're all equal. This is the radius of a circle. Or uh, maybe to say that again, um, they're asking for this line. You hopefully notice that this is the radius of a circle. Just look for other radius because they will equal. So this equals this. And this length equals this length. So really, uh, I might write something like OB equals O, uh, what's the letter up here? I think it's D, O, D, um, O, B equals O, D, and O, D equals 100 plus 20, which equals uh, 120. And that's actually N up here, not D. So that's N. Um, part two then, um, part two they, they talk about B, O, T. That's a B, O, T. So let's draw that again, B, O, T. And um, they tell us this angle is 41.4, correct, to uh, nearest decimal place. Um, find it, like show it, show that that's, okay. So basically let's just do this again. Let's uh, fill a right angle triangle here. Do we know this length? No. Uh, do we know this length? We do, it's half of 180. So that length is 90. Uh, we know this length here, that's uh, 120. That's what we did up here. And again, it's a right angle. So we can find this angle down here uh, using, let's see, cosine. Cosine's the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So cosine theta is equal uh, 90 over 120, which is theta is equal to inverse cosine of uh, this divides in uh, 30 goes into everything. So three over four. And put that into a calculator, we get 41 points. Um, Let's see, oh, I haven't, I haven't done out any uh, special amount, but 41.4 to the nearest uh, decimal place. Uh, part three, they want us to find the area of AB, B prime, A prime. So that's A, so yeah, A, B, B prime, A prime. This, it's shaded in, in the picture, but this, um, let's uh, draw it again here. Well, I'll draw it in a few moments. Um, so how do we find that? We, we know how to find the area of a large segment. So this is a uh, part uh, three. So we know how to find the area of a segment of a circle. So all we do is we find this big area. They, they, I think they give you a clue is that, yeah, they, they tell you it's a big segment take, removing a smaller segment. So that minus the smaller segment is equal, and here's the shape they're looking for, um, like that. So we need to find uh, that area. Um, so all we do to do is find this area, take away this area, and we get that one. So how do we do that? How do we find the area of a segment of a circle? The formula is just whatever angle's in there. Um, I will let, let's start with that. What, what angle's in here? What angle is in here? Remember, we just found out that's 42 point, um, point oh sorry, 41.4. So what angle's in here? You need to notice that this side is also 41.4. So we just take 180 minus both of these, and um, let's see, we get, 
an angle of 97.2. Let's put it in here, 97.2 is in there. So the area of a segment, really it's just a circle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. So it's just how much of the circle? Well it's 97.2 over 360 of it. That's how much of the circle is there. Uh, or, or is the length here, which is 120. So it's 120 squared. Take away this one. This is the same angle. So we get 97.2. I'm just double checking that is the number. Yep, divided by 360. Multiplied by, what's this length? What's that length here? So that's a whole other question we have to do. Let's, uh, let's squeeze it up here. Um, this little triangle in here. This is 41.4. Um, we don't know the, the, the length of it. We don't know the length down here. We do know the height. The height's 20. 20. So we can just go ahead and solve. We just need this length down here. So we can just go ahead and solve that. Uh, let me clean it a little bit. We'd use uh, the sine rule here. Sine of uh, 40, 41.4. Uh, 41 is equal to 20 divided by this length. Um, we call it x for now. So to solve that, we get x equals 20 divided by that, which is 30.243 stays going. And that's in here, 30.243 uh, squared. Just put all of that into a calculator and we would get, um, oh, here's where we need to warn you a little. I'd get 11438.8, uh, yeah, 0.8. Well, I don't know, if, I, that's what I've written here, but I'll explain why this might be different than what you get. Uh, round that off, 11439, I think. Did they ask for near centimeter? Okay. Now, uh, you could very well get different answers because this is the wrong answer. This is the answer that's in the marking scheme because they used 97.2. That's wrong, that 97.2 wasn't the correct answer. 41.4 uh, wasn't the correct answer, it was, it was close. We rounded off. So if you didn't round off, you'd have a different number here. Uh, this number here, I, three decimal places, that's pretty good, but I still rounded off. So uh, you, you could very well, and we square it, which makes the mistake even bigger. Um, so your answer could be slightly different here as well. Um, I, um, yeah, I don't think I did it out fully properly, or maybe I did. maybe that's what this answer is, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, you, you could get slightly different, plus or minus three or four uh, numbers, so significantly different. The examiner won't mind. So what the examiner will be looking for, did you do it all the right way? Um, if this number here is slightly, um, is, more, is better. Uh, again, you can't be worse, I guess, but if you get the exact number instead of this rounded off number, you'll be fine. Just, that's just a little bit of warning. Anyway, there's the answer. That's how you do that part. Okay, in part B, they give us nearly an identical question. They just change the height here. It's no longer 20. So we better change these letters. This is D now and D prime. And that's uh, E and E prime. Nothing else really uh, changed. They tell us this angle in here. Well, this changing this height changes a lot. So they now tell us this angle in here. And they want us to use that information and um, use the triangle OEE. -E. So that's a triangle now, not a segment. Use this triangle here, or this, like think of a straight line going across. Or they, they put in a straight line going across. Um, and use the cosine rule to find the val value of um, OE. So that's uh, this length here. Find the value of this length here. Um, okay, so let's fill in what we know. Uh, they tell us this is 105. Uh, this length across should still be 180. 180. Uh, that's only two things. We might need a little more, and the little that more that we need is this is x and this is also x. In a way, that's three pieces of information about this uh, triangle. It's an angle, a length, and the fact that two other lengths are equal. That's actually enough um, if we go ahead and use the cosine rule here. So the cosine rule tells us a length squared, 180 squared, is equal to the other two lengths squared, x squared plus x squared, and minus, sorry, minus two times the other two lengths multiplied, 
which is x times x, which is x squared, uh, multiplied by cosine of the angle across from the, the original length. So that's cosine 105. So all we really have to do is solve this for x. That's all they're asking in b. Clean all this up. Uh, let's see, 180 squared. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I never multiplied it out. So whatever that is doesn't really matter. I'll leave it as 180 squared for now. That equals, let's say, 2x squared minus 2x squared multiplied by cosine 105. Uh, let's get all the x's out of there. X comes out of both of them. X squared goes into 2. Um, X squared comes out of this and leaves a 2. X squared comes out of this and leaves a minus 2 cosine 105. And that all equals 180 squared. Let's divide this by both sides. We get x squared is equal 180 squared divided by this, 2 minus 2 cosine uh, 105. Um, so we just have x here, we just take the square root of both sides. Be careful, uh, a plus or minus appears. Now, in, in questions like this, uh, it's going to be a positive answer. So um, sometimes it might be the minus you need to keep because maybe this here is a minus. It won't be in this case, but let's leave the plus or minus for now until we get our answer, and then we'll, we'll throw away the wrong one. Uh, plus or minus, the top row, the top row square root of 180, 180 squared is 180, and the bottom row square root of 2 minus 2 cosine 105. You can go ahead and put that all into a calculator, and we would get uh, plus or minus 113.4. So you need to throw away the minus. Just show the examiner uh, you're throwing away the minus. So 113.4, just a plus. And that's uh, the length from O to E, which uh, at one decimal place, yeah. Okay, that's all they ask for part B. Question C moves on from the, the window wiper questions. They tell us uh, Matty's driving home and uh, on her way she passes um, passes traffic lights, five sets of traffic lights. They could be either red, green, or orange. Uh, one day, like she counts them up and goes, they're red, red, orange, green, red. That's it. Um, how many different patterns could she see? So that's all the, uh, which is part C, part C1. So how many different, could it be red, 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 orange, 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 and so on. How do we count these up? Um, it's just a counting exercise. How many options are there for the first light could be red orange or green there's three the next one they're unrelated to each other there's no um oh we've already had red we can't have green there's three more there's three more there's three more and there's three more multiply all these together that's how many combinations there are that's three to the power of five and that's equal to two, uh, two sorry 243. in part two they give us a bit more um, requirements. They say, how many different patterns could the lights be if the first light is red and the fifth light is not red? Okay, the first light has to be red. How many ways can something be red? Just one way. Second light, they give us no instructions, so it could be three different colors. Third light could be three, fourth light could be three, and the last one has to be not red. Well, that means it could be orange or green. There's two options for that. That's all these questions are, just uh, thinking them through like that. Um, that's uh, 3 cubed times 2, which is uh, 27 times 2, which is 54. Just double check that. Yeah, 54 is the answer, part 2. Part 3, now part 3, it's probably the hardest. It's uh, just a brain teaser, it's just can you figure it out? Uh, how many different patterns could the five traffic lights be if no two consecutive lights could be the same colour? Now what does that mean? It means uh, if the first light's green, uh, the next one can't be green. That's, that's basically, so it could be green, red, green, red, orange, that's fine. None of them are, it's never the same two in a row. Other than that, there's any options you want. So how many ways could that happen? Um, you're just gonna have to try a few things here. The first thing I tried, which it does work out, um, is, well the first light doesn't seem to me to be any requirements could be three possible things on the first light. Now the second light does have some restrictions. It can't be whatever the first one was. So there's only two choices now. The next light, and here's where we're getting tricky, is, is it one? Because we've used two already? 
No, it's, it's actually two again, because the only restriction on the third light is it can't be whatever this light was. If this was red, it can be orange or green. If this was green, it could be red or orange. Um, there's, there's still two choices for the third one. The two that this aren't. And the same for the next one, and the same for the next one. Um, so what's that? That's three multiplied by two to the power of four, which is 16, that's uh, three times 16, which is, I'll double check that one, it's uh, 48. So 48's the answer. Um, part three, I, I guess there's no really way to teach that. It's, it's just a brain teaser. Sometimes you can do them, sometimes you can't. Uh, practice. Part C is the last part of most questions are hard, they're tricky. Honestly, if you do enough of them, you start to get better and better. You're, you're basically, you're training your brain, you're, you're working out your brain. Uh, there's no learning off something like that. It, it's gonna be different every time. Uh, you, you might see common things in the earlier parts, but there's always gonna be a tricky thing you've never seen. You're, you're just gonna have to study, try hard, and uh, don't worry in the exam if you get, if you get one or two wrong. There's, there's plenty of other marks out there to get. Uh, that's actually the last question of the whole paper, so any questions whatsoever, let me know. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching and have a good day.